Yo, what's good? Y'all boys, it's Dubman. Today I'm coming at you with another reaction video. Today we added to before and after fighting Khabib in. I'm not even finna say that. He got a he got a last name like the people in the Bible, don't he? But look! <laughs> that's not real. <laughs> Y'all remember the people name in the Bible and you just put in on it because you don't know how to pronounce their name? No, nah, let me stop. But look, um, um, I know I know of him, but I never seen him fight. So this is new to me. If you uh new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dug. And let's get into this, man. I told you guys, we're gonna make him humble. Fight fans, welcome back. You're a phony, a fake. Last year, GSP said there were three types of Funny people in combat right. sports: the fighters, the oh, athletes, funny. and the artists. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. But Nobody could pay me. You couldn't pay me to fight somebody. With a relentless work ethic, insane no. natural ability, I don't see people. and dominance in all areas. They really the risk in their life. Regarding Russia's undisputed Money lightweight is not that important. isn't so straightforward. Yes, no. No. Now enjoying retirement, we retrace the legacy of a humble champion that never lost never bled know. and was never visibly hurt inside the octagon he never lost you wait wait wait, wait. he got to be cap what you mean he never lost or never bled that's cap that's cap something in a sport as unpredictable as mixed martial arts that speaks for itself no never lost lost never bled inside the cage come here we look at opponents before and after fighting habib Nurmagomedov. welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Because this is number one easy fight in life division. 16 and 0 is the mixed martial arts record, and he's just 23 years old. 10 years ago, the Russians signed the dotted line, entering the UFC's lightweight roster. So, what, is he the best? Six fight deal. Like, I don't watch the UFC. Like, is he, is he considered the GOAT? Or a GOAT? Straying under the radar, he picked up his first handful of victories, dragging his opponents the distance but crunching, mauling, and slamming them in the process. UFC record, 21 takedowns. With an ever-evolving style, Khabib I just noticed that's Rafael the Rafael Dos Anjos, his first top five opponent, without losing a single round. His first top five opponent, without losing a single round. I just want to see who's got the style to handle this guy. Some were convinced, others not so much. But everybody had started to take notice. I think he's a little amateur. Uh, I think. I know him. He, he talked a lot too. But he fight. off before you were here. He's already in the press room somewhere, telling everybody that'll listen. Hey, he's undefeated. He deserves to be next. Is, is, is he what you think should be next? Hey, if they, if they want him next, give him a shot. I'm ready. It would be two years later, Talk following a series of freak knee injuries, that Habib would finally be back in action. You're fat, you're slow, you have I, no I, rhythm. I, I can't people. wait to shut your face with my hand. I'm gonna knock you out. Unfortunately, Ooh, Tony Ferguson pulled out, facing health issues of his own. Still kind of a hard pill to swallow. Leaving Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Daryl the St. Horcher with the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, UFC give me fight versus Tony. He was talking crazy, and he had the same here. thing happen to him. Tony's pull out. What the hell is this? Shut up. I have fight. I have fight, Daryl Horcher. I have to focus with this guy. I'm not going to cap. You can call me scary, but like, I'm not fighting a Russian. And I'm like, I'm not fighting somebody who has an accent. Like, I don't know why. Like, I just feel like they was just trained as little kids. Like, like fighting like bears, like like hunting bears and stuff like that. Like no stereotype, but I'm I'm not fighting nobody with ass. Because I'm, I'm automatically gonna here. think you can Where's beat Tony? me. Tony, Tony's pull out. Please shut up. I have fight. I have fight. Darrell Horcher. I have to focus this guy. I don't think you can stand with me. There's nobody on the planet who can stand with me. All I do is touch you, whether we're on the ground or we're standing up. That's all it takes. Obviously, there was better matchup that we could have on nine days' notice than to be themselves, you know. But he's just a man. They're all the same. At the 160 pound catch weight, Horcher was a huge underdog. And as the fight unraveled, it became more and more apparent why. Big shots. Oh, I'm going to touch him and he's not going to like my power. And that's 
to Josh Dobbins. You know, this could even be a title in the UFC. Though with an embrace and show of respect, it was a night that highlighted That's the respect. more amicable respect. side of mixed martial arts. I came up short in my debut. Tough guy. What he did tonight, no one he was right. He's the number one guy in, in division on eight day notice. You know, I lost 25 pounds in seven days. I came off the couch. I hadn't trained in months. This was my real debut. Real debut. Real debut. But no, no, you get guys, much respect for that. Really you fall off for your debut and you lost 25. What? In With seven Eddie days? Alvarez sidestepping Habib in exchange for red panty night. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your next. It was bro, I love Connor, bro. Connor go toss some trash. American that would take his place. I'm about to go celebrate with my team in the back. And we're getting ready for soon. I went on that New York card. Anybody, let's First go. First of all, I have to beat Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson already beat Tony Ferguson, Barboza, lot of tough guys. He's not easy fight. Okay, okay. He gave him his aside, respect. Michael Johnson was the only man calling out Khabib and labeling him as one-dimensional. No, I'm here to take care of business. I'm here to fight. I'm here to get a win, and uh, that's all it is. I don't think we're going to see a new Khabib. We haven't seen him. We haven't seen him progress his game at all. I, I hope he tries to test it out on me Saturday. You know, I'm looking forward to that one. Whilst Johnson, too, deserves credit for stepping up to the plate, his fate was no less brutal. It almost seems like they're shocked at how strong he is. Listen, there is pounding Michael Johnson's that I go to smash your boy. Make no mistake. Talking to him in the process, the Eagles swept him up, dropped him, and then drowned him. No, I'm not going to slam it, Roko. I'm not going to try to go away. You know this, I Coach, throw in the towel. If, 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 bro, if somebody beating me. And I look up at you and you tell me, bro, you gotta quit. Like, I could have broke your arm just now. Okay, say no more. I'm taking that as a sign from God. What? You already got your check. You already got your money. Live happily and go. Аккуратно делал. Потому что этот болей, который, если она ломается, она, ну, больше не восстанавливается, эта рука. No, he's crazy. Michael should tap or he's gonna break his arm. He's gonna break his arm. What a display of dominance. Both men showed respect in the aftermath. But Habib's focus quickly switched to the lightweight title and one man in particular. I want to fight with your chicken because this is number hey. one easy fight in lightweight division. I think I deserve this, but this is up to main event. Because if Connor win, of course he not take this fight. Who presented the toughest challenge in your opinion? <laughs> I mean, that's got to be Khabib. I mean, come on, I mean, he's just... Uh... Khabib would get his shot at the lightweight strap in early 2018. But five months prior, it was Edson Barboza that would look to halt the Russians' route to the top. Bro, so how does this work? He's like... a true fighter, but Connor... How much of a break do they get, like, on the throughout? Back of I hope they're not fighting back wins. to back to back. That's going to take, boy. Chance to face the very That'll best. kill you. Best lightweights in the world Literally. fighting, you know? He definitely won the best. I mean, won the best. And that's making me very excited for this fight. The fight itself felt like a slow, brutal execution. You know, hey. Jordan in his prime. You just, you just can't cover the guy. It's almost like he's the only one on the court. Yeah. I mean, the run. It was like he was the only run? one in the game. Can't go. Okay. Fight better than Jordan. And a reminder of just how good Khabib really was. What does make him so special? Everybody know his game. Everybody know his game plan. And nobody can stop him. I think definitely one of the best of all the time in the lightweight. Now, if you have to give me one hour rest, I can fight one more time with Conor or Tony. That's no problem. Nah, Khabib looked terrible in that fight. He's just barreling down, coming straight forward like a tank. Oh, you know, I got crazy. a little more style than I got a little more. I think it's a bit vain. I got to go Khabib because you're his brother, probably, but don't talk I'm about him. His biggest don't talk about Khabib. In the FC, so. You really think he looked terrible in that fight? Khabib? Yeah, I, I, the man looked the same that he did a couple years ago. You better change your mind. After another Tony Ferguson injury, coupled with some replacement drama. They checked, they looked at me, and they said, you don't look good, you can't do it. That's all that happened, and it walked off. It was Al Taikinta, a former championship wrestler with fantastic takedown defense, who'd be up next with a chance to snatch the vacant lightweight title. You'd have to pay me $2 million to fight, a million dollars to fight Khabib. I don't want to fight that guy. You should have the Barbosa. What are you nuts? They're getting beat up to the point where they're going out. And that's something that you're never going to see with me. So This week, they asked me to fight with five different guys. If you can bring King Kong, you can make 155. Let's go. 
I'm only taking one the hit. New Yorkers and take I'm dead. down defense and awareness was indeed on point. That was very intriguing was the fact that Aya Quinta was able to get back up. Unfortunately for him, if I gotta learn to run, black, the night, we found but... that Khabib's striking had improved. I am calling me with Khabib was hitting his opponent and not getting hit back. Aya Quinta's performance drew a lot of praise, supposedly laying the blueprint to beat the Russians. He's cool, calm under pressure. He got out of it, and then he was like, all right, that's it. Now I'm going to kill you. But with the American referring to him as a monster post-fight, it was still going to take something otherworldly to stop him. Now I want to fight with George St. Pierre in New York. So, so this man really just calling out everybody he want to beat, and then he beat them? He's amazing at and he's also amazing at getting to the positions that he's amazing at. He really calling out the people he want to fight, then he beat. What happened? Send the message, hey, come here, this place, and that's it. Thus far in his career, Khabib's grace and humility had repelled the majority of bad blood or trash talk. However, as we know, this was all about to change. I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. You three, four times. You tap four times. So I'll tap your head off the like canvas, chicken. kids. With both men's personalities amplified under the spotlight, oh, this really snap. was the ultimate good guy versus bad guy showdown. You'll never be the <laughs> Who's a good guy? Oh, to be. Bro, Connor's kind of a bad guy in this because he don't fuck your ass, bro. You gotta love him. As the two made the walk to the octagon. This is not Eddie Alvarez or Jose Aldo. This is a completely different fighter. If you wanna stop it, you have to kill me. But for the Irishman, the dream slowly turned mm -hmm. into a nightmare. Yeah. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. Khabib brought his well, that... best to the octagon. What the That gotta be cashed. There's no way. Slowly there's no way. Nightmare. Lit up. He, he begged me, please, don't kill me, you know. Bro, well, that's Cal. It's no way. To the octagon, it's no way that's true. Followed by his worst. I couldn't believe my eyes while it was happening. Oh, no. Total chaos here. A bittersweet ending to the sport's highest grossing pay-per-view. Kind of gets a hard time about his, uh, about his cardio all the time, but... Who has Khabib faced that didn't look like that after two rounds? Um, I just misinterpreted it. His efficiency. He was very efficient and he took he took shots well. Can you imagine putting uh, on the suit after you done got like, what do I see weaknesses in, in Khabib's game or can't do it? Where do I think he makes mistakes and I, I don't really need him to be weak for me to be strong, you know. I, I don't need huge glaring holes. I'm gonna create them. What are your plans as champion? I just wanna mold people. This is what I wanna do. I'm gonna listen with him all night, make him tired and make him tap. This is my plan. A year later, after putting the ugliest scenes of his career behind him, Khabib's right attention turned to another man who was tearing through the lightweight division. Oh my god! Oh. Sure. Khabib! Let's go! Poirier didn't bring the drama like Connor, but as an all rounder with game changing power, it was a clash that lit up the imagination in equal measure. I'm going to make something special happen September 7th in Abu Dhabi. I'm going to shock the world. Okay. We saw a more cautious version of Dustin in Abu Dhabi. You have to push him back a little. And we haven't really seen that out of anybody yet because they're so worried about that, the speed of that shot. And ultimately, despite having success of his own, he was overpowered and submitted in the third. Who? Who? Why am I asking who? If they said this man never lost, what am I doing? Did he say he was gonna get him tired? Then he was gonna make him tap? He's telling you the game plan, and you can't stop it. This man is nah. Of respect, capped off. Nah, this man dangerous, bro. Division. He just nah. That's crazy. If anything adversity's taught me in the past is when times are good, be grateful, and when times like this, be graceful. And his, hands, his feet are like hands, like his foot sweeps, and and the way he breaks you down, it's it's good, man. He's good. So good. You know, people know who both of these guys are. They know what they're both capable of, and that's why this fight is so big. Going to cause him some serious, serious issues in there. He's not going to be able to do what he wants when he wants. In a promise to his family, Fight Island would be the last time we saw Habib defend his crown and unbeaten record. I was born and I was bred and I was raised to do this. 
and I will do it till the wheels fall off. When he's on his feet, I will be causing massive damage to his legs, to his body, and his face. An elite wrestler, a devastating striker, and a man with newfound composure, Justin Gagey was considered the man with the best chance of face. dethroning he the champion. He looked like somebody knows. He should be afraid. Gagey should be afraid of the takedown, which he will be. And with one of the most exciting styles in the game, no trash talk was necessary. Everyone knows this is the best fight at 155 pounds, and we are finally he here. He pointed at him and said, you have jet lag. During the fight? During the fight. He <laughs> said, you have jet lag. He said, Gagey said, no, I don't and hit him with a left hook and an uppercut. <laughs> Though, what was supposed to be the roughest, toughest night's work of Habib's career is made to look like another day at the office. He does things to world-class guys that makes you just confused. Habib told his own corner to quiet down as the fight ended, which speaks for itself. And Gagey's humble response and defeat might even have gained him more fans than a victory. I don't want to imagine, you know, what he was going through. But uh, as soon as the fight was over, I went up and told him that he just made his father so proud. And uh, it, was, it was, you know, he did. Hey, I'm telling you this right now. Whoever he breaks in next, that's what I'm going. That's what I'm picking. I'm picking him, bro. I'm telling Wait, wait, is he still? I think he retired. Did he retire? Y'all let me know where he at now. Did he retire? I don't know, but hey. Hey, if you bet on him, if you're a betting man, I know you want some money. But, bro, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want me to react to next. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at tv.dub. Hey, yeah, man, I'm out.